Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to extract email details to Excel file. So you can see the screenshot here in the left side, we have the screenshot of Outlook email and in which you can see the received date from to subject and body. So we are going to capture all these details and write to the Excel file. You can see the screenshot right side here receive date from to email id subject priority body so if you want to capture all these details from email id and you can store all these details in a excel files so today i'm going to show you a demo how can we you know capture this and then i will show you practically so let me first open uipath studio and show you the demo first you can see here in the Excel file that I have captured all these email details so we have received date and then we have from email ID and then two email IDs and then subject and then priority and body so currently I'm just capturing four to five email details if you have multiple you can capture as per your requirement so uh, let me delete all this and now let me run this here and you will see the output so it will capture all this email details from each emails so currently uh, I have taken 1500 mail message so uh, let's open the excel file and you can see here let me do one thing right so you can see we have the receipt date we have the two uh, from email id we have the two email ids we have different different email ids here but i, I cannot show you the all email ids and now we have the subject and priority and this is the body of this email ids right now i can show you here that we have this let me you know you can see from here that we have this uh, received date email id from email id subject to email id and this body part right so currently we have taken 1500 mail message to capture all these details and write to excel file now let me delete and so that i can show you practically how can you do this so let's say uh, first let me delete this completely and now i am going to take one flow chart here let me expand this and now first you know that we need to get all these emails from Outlook so I'm going to take here get Outlook mail message right and here we have to fill all these details like inbox and then here in I'm going to read from this Outlook I'm going to read only 115 mail message and so I'm going to put here 15 and now we'll take uh, output variable so let me take control K emails okay so we have this emails variable and now to get one by one emails you know that we have to use here for each activity and now here we can just go and select you know that what I'm going to do here system.net.mail.mail message now we'll put here emails so if you don't know about it, about this all these details you can go through my previous video we have about 5 to 10 videos on this email tutorial so you can watch these videos now I'm going to put here email and then to get one by one email details first here we are getting one by one emails now we have to capture one by one email details so let's say I'm going to click on this here so if I need to capture this receive date so for that I have to do one thing I have to write few things so first I will take one assign activity and here 
I will take on one variable for a received date and here I am going to put here email so we are getting all these emails one by one here in this variable email dot as you know that we are going to capture this from headers so this is the header parts and to capture the receive date we need to use here emails dot headers and now in the open close bracket we have to write date let me show you here you have to write like this email dot headers and then in open close bracket in double quotation you have to write date so what will happen this receive date will be assigned to this variable and then we can use this variable later so first I'm going to assign all this value in a variable now this is for the receive date now we need a from you can see we have received from to subject priority and body right so this is our input this is our requirement so based on the requirement we'll take one by one so f now second we'll take from so control k from id so here we'll write email dot now you can see here we have the option to capture email from name right you can see here we can take from or we can take sender but why I have taken this headers for the date because if we'll go and check for the received date we don't have any date that's why we have the option to capture the received date using emails dot headers and in the bracket date now we have this email dot from so we'll take this now we are getting this warning so we need to convert this to a string so how can we do that we can write here dot to a string now the third is we need to capture two subject and priority and body so let me take one by one here paste now we'll take one variable here control k to id and we'll just change here in the value email dot two right because we have this two now we have subject so we'll take here subject we'll change this email dot subject now we need priority and body so you can see the priority like whenever we we send any email to anyone at that time we set the priority if you are not setting any priority that will be a normal right so we can also capture these details if you want to capture CC and BCC emails then also you can do that so, okay and then I'm going to put here priority so this time I'm going to change here so you can see if you want to capture CC then you can just write CC and if you want to capture BCC you can capture this BCC right so here we need a priority we can take this now the last we need body body message so this will be email dot body right now we have stored all this data in one variable now we need to write all this value of one by one emails to this excel file so what we can do what is the best way what is the best practice you can say or best way to do this so we can do one thing we have this input and we need to write all this data in this output format right so what we can do instead of creating a data table instead of you know using a build data table activity and you know write all these columns there we can directly use this excel file to create a data table right so what we can do we can take here one read range activity so I'm going to take from the workbook here So I'm going to take here after getting the emails okay so you can take this here 
now I'm going to read this email this Excel file and just delete this our seat name is seat1 and just take one output data so we have control K emails DT right so now we have a data table and instead of using a right cell and write one by one data to the Excel file that will be very lengthy and time taking process so now to make it process simple and fast we can do one thing after reading this Excel file and write this format in a data table we can do one thing we can take a add data row it means it will add a uh, row data as a row to the data table so we'll take this here and we can in the properties we can in the data table we can put here emails dt and now we are going to directly write all this data in this data table one by one in the row so we can click on this array of row and then here we can because we are going to pass in a array so here we will pass multiple value in one row so one by one we will write here first we need to write receive date so we have this variable receive date comma we have the from ID then we have to ID now we have the subject and then we have let me show here from to subject and then priority and then body subject now we have priority and then we have body message now close this with the curly braces now press ok now we are good here because we are passing one by one all this data one by one in one row now one more thing if you are not using this assign activity and if you want to directly write all this then yes you can do this instead of writing this variable you can just pass here email dot and then we have a body so we can write like this so this will also work so better we have this variable we can use this okay so we can use this body message and now we have written one by one rows value to the data table and now we need to write this data table in which we have this data so we can write to the excel file so how can we write so for that we can take one a write range activity from this workbook we'll take here and then just take this workbook path seat one we can write from a1 column and just we can use the same data table where we are storing all this data right now make sure when you are going to uh, read the data you should select this you must select this add headers otherwise this will not be considered as a headers now again while writing all this data to the excel file you must select this add headers now save this and now what will happen first time it will get all these emails from here uh, 1500 mail message and stored in a emails variable and then here in the read range activity we are reading this email uh, this email data excel file to capture this format right and then we are using for each activity to read one by one email and capture one by one email details and store in a 
variable and then we are adding all this value to data table in a row right now once it will exit from this loop then we have a complete value in data table now we need to write this data table in the excel file because we need here as output so what we are doing we are again writing the same value uh, data table to the same excel file right now we can directly run this control f5 okay now let me open this here and now you can see here we have the received date from to email id subject priority and the body right so by this way you can also capture all these details and you can perform your next step you can apply your requirement whatever you want to do you can do so i hope you like this video so if you found these videos helpful then please support by donating any amount using paypal you can find paypal link here in the ui path rp channel you can uh, go here and then you will find this link donate to support ui path rp and then you can click on this so it will redirect to paypal page and then you can see here the url that is ui path rp and also you can see the logo and then my name so you can donate any amount and you can choose here your currency INR USD as per your country and you can you know put here any amount which you want to donate so let's say if you want to donate thousands rupees in INR you can just put there and you know process the next step thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you really like this video then please press the like button and if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe and please press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of the latest video and if you have any question you can comment on video and stay home stay safe and learn with me learn with ui path rpa thank you